Hello, today we will talk about how to optimize content for key phrases. Assuming you already have a list of key phrases you want to rank on search engines, this list should be based on the keywords related to or pertaining to your business, what you're offering, and selling. Once you have a set of keywords and key phrases listed down, you need to make sure that your website contains content to target the said keyword and phrases. It is also important to ensure that the content is properly structured. One of the biggest mistakes content makers make when it comes to optimization for SEO is overstuffing their website with keywords. We will discuss more of that later. It is also crucial that your content is relevant to your audience. Otherwise, they will get bored and leave your site quickly. The key here is creating significant, targeted content that is aimed at your chosen key phrases. What is the importance of content? Content plays a major role on your website. Some important aspects of website content is relevance, updates to keep up with the latest trends, engagement to customers, persuasiveness that it should compel your visitors to convert or basically persuade them to do what you want. It should also express signals of applicability to search engine. This can be done by utilizing your set of keywords on the content page so that the search engines will pick up. At the same time, the content should still be easy to understand for users. To optimize your content, it is crucial that each web page should be optimized for two to three key phrases. You should have the primary key phrase, the secondary, and tertiary. Keep in mind that a web page can be optimized for up to five key phrases. However, it is always advisable to have more niche pages than blurry pages. To do this properly, we have provided a list of guidelines. First, make use of the title tag. Most beginners often overlook the importance of title tags. You can utilize the key phrase in the title and as close to the introduction as possible. This lets the search engine know what the content is about. Second, use H1 header tags. Header tags are invented for a reason. Use them by inserting the key phrase in it. It is also important to use other header tags for other important parts of your article or content. Third is body content. In the body of your content, you can use the key phrase at least three times. But make sure to put it in sentences that make sense, not just randomly. The rule of the thumb is three key phrases per 350 words. Just be careful of overdoing it. As mentioned, stuffing your content for keyword is a big red flag for search engines. Consider these things as well. Utilize bolding. It is also ideal to use the strong or bold tag on the keyword even just at least once per article. This makes it easier for search engines to find where you use the keyword. Second, keyword or phrase in the URL. As much as possible, you want your URL to contain the keyword or phrase you are trying to rank. Well, if the keyword is already in your article title, it will automatically be in the URL. Another overlooked component of the HTML slash CSS is the meta description. You can use the keyword in the meta description of the page as well. Do this at least once. Aside from the title of the content, searchers and readers will automatically see the meta description on search engine results. This will help attract them to click through to your site from the SERP. Another major overlooked component is the anchor text. Make sure that the keyword is used in the anchor text of the page linking to you. Next is the domain name. This is for the overall website. As much as possible, you want your domain name to have the key phrase in it. Naturally, your website will also have media content such as photos and videos. A website with purely articles will just be too plain for the readers. You can use images and videos to optimize for relevant keywords. As of the moment, search engines cannot decipher multimedia content as well as they do on the text. But there are ways around it. Search engines rely on the way that each media is described. It helps the search engine understand what the media is about. 
It also helps the users that are visually impaired to make sense of a website. Additionally, images and videos are also shown on the SER feeds. If you optimize media properly, it can give your brand more ownership of the SERP real estate, which is basically the goal. Additionally, optimizing media properly can also be used effectively to target competitive terms. This method also helps search engines to rank your pages accordingly as long as each media is labeled correctly. It also helps emphasize the content on a page to a website visitor. Here are the different ways to optimize images with key phrases for SEO. First is to utilize specific alt tags. Next is to utilize title attributes. Use descriptive, keyword-filled file names for images and videos. Be sure to keep relevant copy close to the corresponding media. Next is to add meta information to the image. You can see this once you upload the media to your website. Just be sure that this meta information is relevant to the media. If you are putting media under header tags, make sure that they are relevant to each other. Additionally, if you have corresponding apps that can be downloaded, you also want to optimize those in line with your key phrase strategy for App Store Optimization or ASO. And that's how you optimize content for key phrases.